Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas Warner, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to brush realistic direct light into your photographs. This is not dodging, this is adding in direct light. We're going to take this photograph from this to this using only a little bit of Photoshop. That's all the introduction we need, let's get into it. Here's the image that we're going to be working with today. And before I bring it into Photoshop, I want to show you guys a little bit of how my mind works in terms of getting this image ready in Lightroom. And I'm just gonna show you a few masks. So this is an image from the Mojave Desert taken on one of my Mojave Desert tours. And if I open up our masking panel here, starting from the bottom, we have a mask kind of coming in from the right hand side, just adding just a little bit of light. Another mask inverted, just kind of giving a pseudo vignette. There is another mask here at the bottom, darkening up all of these choya because they're catching a ton of light, even this late in the day. And it was a bit distracting. So I turned the exposure down. Another mask to cool down the color temperature of the choya because otherwise it was just a little bit too warm. There is another mask down here, adding a bit of texture into the spines of the choya another mask warming up the top half of the photograph one more here on the right hand side giving a little bit more of an exposure and one final mask on top just to cap off the top of the image and kind of prevent the viewer's eye from going too far up so we can see before and after on these masks and how i use them to try and direct the viewer's eye in the photograph and harmonize the light and color a little bit more so with that we can go ahead and go up to photo edit in and open in adobe photoshop the game plan for this photograph is to brush in light on all of these spines up here on this mountain. I think we had a beautiful scene, a really nice composition. I liked the colors of the sunset, but unfortunately the clouds were blocking the direct light from hitting these peaks on the mountain. So we want to fix that or remedy that in Photoshop. If you watched a video a few weeks ago I made about blend modes, this is fairly similar, although it is a slightly different approach to this technique. So to do this, to brush in the light, we're going to create a new layer. For organizational purposes, we're going to call this one brushed in light. We're gonna change the blend mode from normal to overlay. I'm going to hit B for brush. And the most important step, the most important step of this whole process is that you need to change the color of the brush. Brushing in with white will not work. It is going to give very subpar results. What we need to do is sample using alter option. I can hold, hold that down and then sample a color that's already in the sky. So we can see I have sampled that. Let's change our flow down to about 5%. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and then just start brushing in that direct light on the image. And by sampling that direct light from the sky or sampling that direct color, we can give a very realistic result in the image. Now you do have to follow some processes. Um, you don't want to be adding in light where there is shadow in the image. That's not going to make sense. We can also see, or the viewer will be able to see, the sun is below the horizon. Therefore, it's not going to make sense if I start brushing light down here in the rest of the landscape. That's not going to make sense. We need to have it be hitting just the tops of these peaks and then ideally taper off down towards the bottom. So be stronger light up top and then just taper off as it goes down to the bottom. Now, obviously I'm also hitting the sky here. That's totally okay. We can select the sky and delete that later. Right now, I am just worried about brushing in light on these peaks. So just like that. This technique works best when you have light already hitting part of the image. It doesn't have to be direct light. If you just have kind of soft light to guide you, that is when it is going to work best for your photograph. So just like this, let's make our brush size really big. And I'm going to just give one final kind of quick brush along the entire thing to kind of smooth out the edges. And then I'm going to go down and click on our background layer, go up to select, down to sky. It's gonna think for a second while it selects the sky. 
back into our brush and light layer. And then we can either mask this out or just hit the delete key to delete that. Hold down command and hit D to deselect that. And then we can see before and after, before and after. This is a ridiculously easy to use technique that you can add in light very fast into your photographs. I want to show you again on another photograph here. And just like before, we're going to create a new layer and change the blend mode from normal down to overlay. And again, we're going to call this brushed in light. And in this case, we don't have any color in the sky. We have a little bit of kind of soft light over here that's maybe desaturated, but I don't have any direct light in this uh, or any direct colors in the sky that I can use to brush in the light. So the solution to this is to sample from down here where the light is hitting these dunes or kind of the brightest point of this. So let's zoom in. Again, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and I'm going to sample that color. Now this though is way too saturated. So I have kind of the base color here and then I'm going to modify it by going to a brighter and a less saturated version of this. We hit okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. And just like before, I'm going to start brushing in light onto these rock formations, just like so, just like that starting off strong on top and then tapering off towards the bottom. So just like this, you really want to pay attention to how the light is behaving in the scene before you get too crazy with it. So at this point, just like before, go down to the background layer, go up to select sky. Once it does that and finishes thinking, I can go back to our brushed in light layer, hit the delete key to delete that Command and D to deselect. And then we can see before and after. And if that is too strong, I can take the opacity down. I can maybe go something like that and say, maybe I was a little bit too harsh in the beginning, but that is definitely a very believable look. And we added that extra oomph into the photo. You know, this photograph doesn't have a whole lot going on in it. So adding that extra light hitting these rock formations really gives it that extra bit of punch that we need. That is the trick for this week of brushing in direct light into your photographs. If you liked that image of those crazy peaks from the Mojave Desert, you can actually join me next April on a photography workshop there where we are going to be photographing that location and a bunch of other crazy spots that you will not find on other workshops. If you would like to join me on a photography adventure, head over to my website, warnerwildernessphotography.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.